young artist. DTV visits Bag Factory to meet a young deaf man studying art. How long have you been an artist? I've always been an artist, for as long as I can remember. But I only started being a professional artist in 2016. Who is your favorite artist and why? I have a lot of admiration for Ayanda Mabulu, but I don't really have a favorite because they all have their own style. I can't really choose between them. Do you prefer? I started with charcoal, then moved on to watercolor, then acrylic, and at this stage, I'm using oil paint. What is your favorite subject to paint? I like lifestyle, cultural, historical, and modern themes. I can get really creative with those four themes. This is an example of my cultural lifestyle paintings. I have a lot of respect for her because she supported me when I grew up. This is a self-portrait. Which is it, happy or sad? This is an old painting of mine. I painted him because he looked cool in his beautiful clothes. Tell us about your upbringing. I was born 1995 in Zimbabwe. Our family moved to South Africa in 2009. I have three brothers and one sister. We moved here because of my schooling. I needed to attend a school of the deaf. As a painter, I work patiently and carefully. I painted this three weeks ago and now the paint is still drying. This is a portrait of a woman proud of her culture. The leaf represents her family and how good her life is. She's proud of her culture and wears a nice coat. There are many different cultures. For example, Venda, Zulu, Sutu. But this woman is Ndebele. So is the artistic life lonely? And how do you counteract it? 
I prefer to be alone because I'm more creative then. I don't like it when people tell me what to do. I'd much rather work on my own. What do you dislike about the art world? I dislike it when some artists copy other artists. It creates confusion and it is unethical. What challenges do you face as an artist? I had challenges painting with acrylic. Changing to oils was more enjoyable and my work improved.